My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. What we've got here is a 1969 Chevelle. It's got some things going for it. It's a factory Le Mans blue car. The metal appears to be really clean original, and it's got one healthy motor under the hood. If you visit volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, get the price, and study about 100 pictures of not only this car, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. So visit volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll see them as they come out. Right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in the 69 Chevelle SS. This is a little bit of a lie. It says 396. There's actually a healthy 454 under the hood. It looks exactly the same as a 396, so they labeled it as such just so it looks like what it should be, but it's a 454, and wait till you hear it. Um, so I'm going to be honest with you. The car probably looks pristine on your screen. It's not a pristine, uh, high-end, fit-and-finish car. What it is, though, appears to be a solid original car. I was just in the trunk. There's no splices or seams. These are the original quarter panels. Uh, trunk floor is real clean, which we'll get to in a minute. And it's a factory 7171 paint code. That means it's Le Mans blue upper and lower. But there's dust in the paint. There's a little dimple here. It's not uh, rust. It's not uh, cracking. It's just it was an inexpensive paint job. I didn't take the extra time to block and prep. Uh, the trim is original. There's dents in this molding. There's some scratches in the glass. A little bit of pitting on the door handle. Uh, the mirrors are new. Bumpers are re-chromed. Tail lights are new. It's got some really nice polished torque thrust wheels with BF Goodrich tires. They look new. Extra fat in the back. Uh, but the bottom is smooth. It's not rusty. It's all metal. It's all smooth along here. There's not a bubble down there. Uh, the weather strips are all good on the car. Windshield looks like it's clear. These are new. The SS stripes are painted on. The grill is good original. You got to stick around and wait until you hear this thing run. So it's a 454 motor, a torquer aluminum intake, big giant holly that looks new, dual feed holly with electric choke. It's got headers. It's got a high performance cam in it. So they do have a remote vacuum canister and a pump to make make up for the lack of vacuum because of the cam that's in there uh, fuel pump looks new interior is good back seats original and in really nice shape someone reupholstered the front seat it's in a generic upholstery carpets look real nice door panels are nice to you know fit good armrests are nice yeah, in this trunk, at first I took a quick glance, nothing special, but actually when I really looked at it with my flashlight, there's not a patch, there's no rot. This is a clean metal trunk. Again, I looked up in there, it looks original. The factory seams and spot welds are clean, so it's a good solid trunk. They painted it black, you know, to protect it. Rubber is new. It does have a new cushion grip, cushion grip steering wheel. The gauges, they just mounted below the dash. It has a tachometer and oil pressure and all that. The radio looks like just a cheap radio. Someone, I think, is just stuck in the hole to fill the, the spot. Um, so I'd do something with the radio. Back in the engine compartment, it does have new horns. The clutch fan, the shroud looks new. Radiator looks new. Chrome cover on top. Uh, K&N filter, nice new chrome valve covers and air cleaner. It has power steering, power brakes. It's a cadmium plated booster. Uh, Optima batteries bolted down. It has a battery disconnect. But let me fire this bad boy up. I was impressed.
just awesome. You know how snappy it is? That idle is just awesome. Uh, strong running engine. Underneath, it's a TCI Turbo 400 Trans with an aluminum uh, pan. It's got some new components in the front end. It's disc brakes in front. It has its original 12-volt uh, rear end in the back. I think those are Flowmaster mufflers. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's solid underneath the car. So this is a real uh, beast right here. And it is a factory air car. So inside it has the controls and vents. It's got the stuff on the firewall. You could add air to this. You're part of the way there. Uh, so visit volocars.com if you have any questions about the car or the process. We can help with all that. We have financing. We have delivery. Volocars.com is where you're going to want to visit. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. And you'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.